All right, guys. By the time you've seen this video, I've already boarded my plane, left the United States, and I'm on my way to Ukraine. So I've got the ultimate care package I'm taking. So this will be my last video about all the medical supplies and knickknacks. But you know what? If I was a guy sitting in a trench being bombed, you know what? Imagine the things that you could use, tarps and anything to keep the dirt out of your face. So I went on a shopping spree. I went to Harbor Freight. I went to uh, Atwoods. I went to, um, God, where all, I went to uh, Harbor Freight, Atwoods. I went to Dollar Tree. I mean, I went to a bunch of places and I'm just trying to think out of the box. How can I help these guys on the front line? So this is my last video on my ultimate care package for you guys in Ukraine. One of my customers came by today and saw that I was packing up stuff to go to Ukraine and he handed me a $100 bill. So you know what I'm gonna do with this $100 bill? I'm gonna go shopping at the dollar store and buy little knickknacks that I know they don't cost a lot, but I promise you they're gonna be priceless to the people on the front line sitting in a ditch tonight, sleeping and fighting a battle as bombs fall down on their heads. I can only imagine if I was like sitting in a trench, sleeping in the mud at night, what things I could use because you got like little fires cooking up your food. It's like surviving in a ditch. So when I walk through a, a dollar store like this, I see all these things and I'm like, I wonder, I wish I could read these guys' minds. So I'm just like buying an assortment of all kinds of stuff. And maybe they'll say, yeah, we need more spatulas or, we need more things of this or that, whatever. So I'm literally going through this this Dollar Tree because everything's only a buck 25 now. Um, and I've got a little room in the boxes. So I'm looking around for things that these guys could want. So if they watch this YouTube video, maybe they see some things. And then they're like, hey, go back. We could use like this uh, anti-splatter screen, you know, maybe that would help us clean something, you know? So for that reason, I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Put them in my cart over here. I'll grab two. Okay, put this one back. But uh, you never know what they can use. And I mean, it doesn't cost anything, but the value of something like this on the front line of a war has to be like priceless. Now, one thing I went ahead and picked up was reading glasses i'm tell you what if you take away my reading glasses i can't even read my iphone so i picked up some reading glasses for these guys and also got them some sunglasses over here i'm gonna pick up some sunglasses so uh you know it is summer you know for a buck 25. i got them toothpaste i got them dental floss i got them lots of aspirin um bandages all kinds of stuff and uh, I'm sure they were looking at this video going, God, give me more of that, give me more of this. But I'm trying to put myself into their mental state, but uh, I'll even get some of these sunglasses here. You know, what the hell? I mean, buck 25? Like the saying is, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So I'll put that in there with the other stuff. All right, so this is gonna be added to my care package. So. Uh, lip balm, a few packs of lip balm, uh, sunglasses, uh, fountain pens, these strain things, whatever they are, they just look like they could be useful for something. You never know, they might, whoever. A uh, couple paddles to flip food that they might be cooking because it's too hot to grab. Some candy, some more of these little flipper things. You know what? These two are too heavy. I'm gonna take these two out. These two are too heavy for my box. I'm taking them out. So I'll put them back over here for now. Here, okay. There you go. Alrighty, so I'm taking uh, these things here so they could cook over a fire maybe. Straws, I don't know, who knows? They might need straws. Bring them some candy, some more candy. A bunch of these, uh, I figure they're gonna get stuff stuck in their teeth. Bringing them toothpaste. I'm bringing them lots of bandages. Like this is uh, uh, ankle support, uh, shoulder support, toothbrushes. Um, I know they need earplugs. I need to go get big packs of earplugs. Glasses, sunglasses. Um, what's that, cough drops? I'm gonna give them some cough drops. 
I brought some razors. And I brought some uh, pain relief for shoulders. I got some more tongs here for handling their food. Um, more of that wrist, wrist protection. Some sunglasses here, a few pairs of sunglasses. Okay. Um, toothpaste, more razors. Um, I'll give them some dental floss. They might be able to tie a booby trap at that. Some uh, ear swabs. Lots of, lots of aspirin. I got like 10 packs of aspirin in here. This thing here is heavy right here. So I gotta keep my package under 50 pounds. Okay, more aspirin. Okay, more earplugs. More aspirin. Reading glasses. These are for me, actually, because uh, I can't read without them. Toothbrushes. Figure these guys want to brush their teeth. Okay, dental floss. More glasses. And some more toothpicks. So that's about it. So I had a little room left over in the, uh, the box with all the medicines and stuff. So I'm going to pack the stuff in there and get right at my 50 pounds of stuff for Ukraine. All right, how much is that? 85. 85, well here's that $100. So whoever brought me that $100, it went to a good use. I promise you that's worth a lot more than $85 to the people on the front line. You know what? I got $14 left over from that guy's 100. I'm gonna go in Atwoods and see what I can get these guys from this place because I love this store. It's my, one of my favorites in the whole world. I need to find something to take these guys just to give them a little taste of some Texas food. So I think what I'll do is I'll get them some jerky or something. Um, I'm trying to look for high value and low weight because I don't want to get over on my, uh, on my baggage. So the airline doesn't charge me. So I was thinking some beef jerky would be great. I bet they would love some teriyaki jerky. If I can find any here. Well, I'll look. So you know what it hit me? These guys in those trenches, it's gonna be raining and stuff. They could use tarps. These tarps are kind of big and heavy here at uh, Atwoods, but I'm gonna go over Harbor Freight because I know they've got a big selection of uh, camouflage tarps over there. And I wish I could take these guys a bunch of other stuff. I just don't have room in my bags, but I'm gonna try to get in as much as I can. Hey, something I thought about, these guys, they could set, uh, not booby traps, but they could set cameras to catch uh, the enemy uh, passing into their territory without having to fly drones over it. So they could use these these uh, deer cameras. Does this require Wi-Fi? No, those do not require Wi-Fi. So does this have everything, or how do you see, is this a card reader? It goes off the card. So you gotta go pick up the camera and cut. So they don't wanna have to go in there. How can you have one where they can see what they're seeing and not have to go back to the camera? So this Fusion X they're telling me, this could connect to a cellular phone. So they could set this and uh, see if guys are coming in. Could you imagine this in a war? This would be great, wouldn't it? That way you can see what's going on, right? Huh. Cool. So this will work with a cell phone. So I hope this helps out. This should be a wireless um, camera so they could set a booby trap, catch uh, Russians sneaking into their territory. It probably has, um, I don't know if it has night vision or not, but uh, we'll find out. Now you guys, you guys in Ukraine are gonna love this place. This is called Harbor Freight. Oh, they got everything here cheap. Now it's all made in China, but it's priceless when you get to the front. See, so you're like for that right there. I'm sure you guys would love to have tarps, but I'll get you camouflage tarps. But they got all kinds of cool stuff in here. But uh, I'm going to get you what I think you guys could use to keep yourself dry sitting in them trenches. So this is the tarp area. So I imagine you can use some paracord. So I'll get you guys some paracord. And uh, these are the tarps, camouflage tarps. So look at that, $10, nine foot by 11 foot. I don't know what size you guys need. 
so I'll get you a mixture of camouflage tarps and uh, you know, let us know what more you want. But I'm sure being wet in a trench is not any fun. But this place here has like everything from automotive to construction to cleaning cars to drills to shovels, zip ties. I'll get you guys some zip ties because I'm sure you're going to want to tie it down or something. So I'll bring you zip ties. I'll bring you some rope. And I'd bring you everything I could if I had a list of it, but I apologize. But for now, I'm just going to get you camouflage tarps. All right, guys. So what I'm thinking is if I am if I was in a dark ditch and being shot at, what would I want? I would, I'm would. i going to pick up some rubber gloves. I'm going to pick up a little lantern. Pick that up for me, would you? To show how it works. You just pull it open. See, and it closes, and it closes. That's got to come in handy. Plenty of flashlights, some extra batteries, but tarps, you know, tarps to keep the rain out of the ditches, okay, to keep them dry. So I'm bringing as many tarps as I can carry, okay. I'm getting some zip ties because I know zip ties can come in handy for wounds and everything. So I got zip ties. I got some paracord, and that's about it. And I think my bags are going to be full. So I got all this at... Uh, Harbor Freight, so it wasn't a lot, but it's gonna be very important down there on the front line. All right, so this is truly a care package. So this box here has nothing but the 250 tourniquets in it. This one here has medical supplies, earplugs, glasses, goggles, cooking utensils, cough drops, toothpaste, razors. It's, it really is a care package like kids going to camp, but I'll look at it this way. I imagine guys sit down in a trench with artillery falling on around him that are making a camp around him. Um, would love to have a lot of stuff. I'm also bringing tarps to keep the rain off and to keep them dry. Those are in my car. I'm gonna hand carry those because I am maxed out now on my weight at 50 pounds per box. All right, guys, that's about it. I can't pack any more stuff in these boxes. So be looking for me real soon in Ukraine if you don't recognize me. Look for this shirt, because I'll be wearing it. So guys, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you in the future, I hope. Bye-bye.